Next one up here, Miami 38, Pitt 34. And this was an incredible game as well. Another 11 a.m. game. Eric said I should have been fired three years ago. <laughs> I guess talk about hardball. And, Maybe. And then, and then they wouldn't be 7-1 and one today. Yeah. I mean, well, it depends on who they hire, I guess. But I, no, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You don't no, think so? No. Yeah. No. They're not, Gary, they're not getting anybody better than Harbaugh right now. All right? I know that he's not the that's second okay. coming of everybody that they want him to be, but who the hell are they hiring that's going in there and turning that thing around? That's be, that's doing what he's doing, which is consistently winning nine or ten games. That's, Who's doing that? That's You're you're not wrong about that, but, I, I mean, a Matt Campbell could go in there. This schedule this year has not exactly been the most difficult. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Moving on, again, Miami one at Pitt, 38-34. And I told you on the Pick'em Show that I felt like Miami was the play, and I went Pitt anyway, because if you look at all the, the analytics and what I, Pitt was playing like a top-10 team, and Miami comes in, here's the storyline of the game. They won drive points 31-21. to uh, Pitt had a fourth down failure. Pitt won yardage 587 to 490. Yards per play 7.4 to 6.9. They won third downs 43 to 33. Pickett had 519 passing yards. And he had two interceptions. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke, brother. I mean, this guy was playing, and he's, he's done this every game out, it feels like. Had 428 yards passing, three touchdowns, one interception, was 32 out of 42. They didn't really need a running game, but Knighton ran 12 times, or 17 times for 80 yards and two touchdowns. Like, this team is fighting. Uh, Pitt's defense is just pitiful in this game. Uh, yeah, they, they could not get stops when they needed to, and that was irritating. You know, Miami was only 4 of 12 on third down, but they didn't get into a ton of third downs. Like, at 12. I was about to say, they only like, had 12 third downs. Yeah. The, the, in the red zone, Miami was 4 out of 4. Pretty pretty good job. Pretty good job there. They Miami looked like a good, competent football team. A pit, by the way, nine penalties for 108 yards. That is going to hurt. That's, that's, that's going to hurt you. So, this was, a, this was an incredible game. There were multiple opportunities for Pitt to take over this game. I mean, they got stomped in the first quarter. I mean, they were down 21 to 10 and could not stop Miami at all. They only gave up 7 points in the second half, and that's all Miami needed. I mean, they they, they were down 31 to 17 at the half. Come out and outscore them 17 to 7 in the second half, but you, you couldn't get over the hump. So, this was uh you know, the Kenny Pickett for Heisman thing that that brought up last week uh not happening. <laughs> <laughs> that don't happen after after a game like this. But I, I think this is one of those, like, Manny Diaz kind of got over the hump a little bit, and I, I don't think he has to worry about his job uh, for the rest of this season. I, I think I think he's going to be fine. They went with the youth movement. These guys are playing hard, and, and they are fighting. Charleston Rambo, by the way, seven receptions, 101 yards. Looked good. I mean, they're, they're, the receiver core is good. The defense, not great, but you can see a little bit of improvement. I, you know, you got a thought on this one? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it was a it was a weird game. Miami played really well. Miami's playing well offensively right now. Miami's defense still isn't very good. That's what Manny Diaz is supposed to be good at. So, you know, we'll we'll see if that can continue or not. But Pitt Pitt just played bad. This looked like a Pitt team that had overperformed what they were supposed to do all year anyway. And this is the team that they've kind of been all year. This, is, this is, is the team that lost to Western Michigan. That's right. Yeah, that's right. This was the team that lost to West Michigan. That's exactly right. They came home, and they thought, we're better than this team, and they didn't have to show up. Rents do every day. Yes. Every day in the sport. Yes, you are 100% right. 100% right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.